Hey everybody, welcome to Kauai, the oldest of the main Hawaiian islands. And here in Kauai, we are looking at a coconut tree. What do coconuts make you think of? I think of beautiful beaches and amazing sand. So a coconut tree produces coconuts on what we call a rack. So this is a rack of coconuts. Here's the coconut frond with the leaves. These coconut fronds live about three years and the coconut racks take about one year to mature. So they start off as babies and then when they're fully mature, they turn into brown coconuts. And this brown coconut, a tree will sprout out of the top and this is the seed of the coconut tree. Coming up, we have an older coconut rack Probably the oldest one on the tree, not brown yet. Here we have a little bit of a younger one. And here we have a real nice young one. And over here, we have some baby coconuts. So, how do coconuts get pollinated? Check it out. Here we have a coconut flower. And, oh, look who's here. Honeybees love coconut flowers. Oh, there's one over there. They're a little bit shy. They love to pollinate the coconuts. So here is the male coconut flower. This is where the pollen is produced. So each one of these will open up. Here's some open ones. And they'll last about a day. And it takes about 15 days for all these male flowers to uh, open up and fall off from the tips all the way inside. And once those are done, then these, see the baby coconuts there? The very tip of that coconut, right there, you'll actually see, let me zoom in a little bit. So the tip of that coconut will open up and it'll be ready to be pollinated so the honeybee will have the male pollen on it and it'll come by this will actually secrete a little bit of nectar for the honeybees to drink out of the tip and they'll come in and they'll take a drink and the male coconut pollen on their legs will get brushed off against the tip there and then voila that coconut will be pollinated so the reason that these male flowers fall off completely before that female coconut opens is so that a male pollen of a different tree will be most likely to pollinate the female coconut bud there. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. And that is a beautiful coconut tree. Look at the color of this coconut tree. Here's a really good example of some older coconuts to younger ones. Very young rack there, see it's still filling in. And look at this very young coconuts. And here's a coconut rack that the female coconuts have just been pollinated. And you notice that all the male flowers are also gone. And you see right on this side, here we have the male flowers just opening up. What a beautiful firework of a flower. So this is what a coconut looks like when it sprouts. Here we have a beautiful coconut tree. This one much taller. And when the coconuts get brown and land on the ground, eventually the baby coconut will sprout right out of there. So we have lots of sprouted coconuts here. Very beautiful, different colors. Different coconut trees have different colored coconuts. This coconut tree has very orange coconuts with very bright green fronds. Looks like we have a visitor. This lizard here is hunting for honeybees.
Honeybees work hard collecting pollen from the male flowers to bring back to their hive and make honey. This is the dried coconut kernel inside the coconut. It's called the copra. Notice that it kind of looks like a human brain. Ooh, eating coconuts makes you smart, huh? Let's slice it in half and see that dried coconut meat. So there's many different ways of making coconut oil. One of those ways is by taking the dried coconut meat and pressing it. It's very oily. Feel that it's got a strong oil content so you actually just squeeze this with a machine and oil comes right out i can feel that oil on my fingers so this dried coconut meat is called coconut copra mm. okay so this is a sprouted coconut the inside of a sprouted coconut has a marshmallow-like consistency. This one broke in a couple pieces. So we have the coconut meat inside. This is what an old coconut looks and the sprouted coconut inside, just broken in half. So this sprouts inside and has lots of nutrients to feed on the meat and can survive on a hot beach. How does it taste? Mmm, refreshing. See, so we have a nice young coconut. This outer part of the coconut is called the husk. And there you go. This coconut meat and coconut water. So coconut milk is made when you take this meat and you blend it up and strain it with water, it makes a milk. But coconut water is the actual water inside the coconut when you open it. So this is nice young coconut meat. See there, it's very soft. And this is a very delicious food eaten all over the tropics of the world. Mm. Stay tuned. Maybe next time we'll take you surfing. Welcome to the North Shore Kauai Coconut Farm. Aloha. <laughs>